So I'm Sarah Welch, I'm an IT project manager by trade. I've been doing that for about four years. I spend most of my work life running meetings, and I'd like my coworkers to, be, to speak to me in the hallway. So I figured out how to do this. Four main points, they sound like common sense, but I'll expand on them a little bit. You need to know your purpose, you need to know your priority, your people, and your post-meeting strategy. That'll make a lot more sense here in a second. Okay, number one, know your purpose. And this is the key rule. If you don't have one, don't have a frickin' meeting. You ruin your credibility and you waste time. Once you have that purpose, share it. Get the agenda out ahead of time. Let people give feedback. Um, things like that. Yes, plan. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, speaking of agendas, this is actually pretty typical. So, jokes are good, uh, gossip can be fun, but this last one, the red one, when to have the next meeting, don't do that at the meeting, do it later. <laughs> so, this is one of my magic tricks to keep things going. Turn that agenda into a social contract. Get everyone to agree on it at the beginning of the meeting. Make them nod their heads or at least tell you about it. Everybody else will help you get along. Um, know your priority. Know where your priority is um, for your agenda items. You might not make it through, so know where you can cut. Know where it is in, among other people that are there because they're probably thinking about something else, maybe four or five o'clock. Um, and then don't be a punk. If something more important is going on, reschedule the meeting. It's not gonna be useful anyway. And maybe if there's a powder day. <laughs> so, people. Okay, this is the key thing. People decide whether your meeting is a success, failure, or just a total sucky waste of time. And it's gonna be the people that are in the meeting and the people that are outside the meeting that have heard about the awful, sucky meeting. So, uh, first of all, check your vanity and your ego at the door. This is not about you. This is about the people that are there and what you're trying to accomplish. <laughs> Second of all, think about your people's comfort. Do not make them sit in freaking folding chairs. That's not comfortable. Think about the temperature. Think about whether the boss is on the other side of a thin wall. I have a funny story about that if you catch me later. Value the people's time. Start on time. Don't punish the people that get there. Um, try to start, uh, try to end early and let them know that you're going to try. They'll help you make it happen. So, long meetings. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's not a good idea. Now, if you have to have a long meeting, provide some of this stuff and stick to brain foods because you want them to be there. So, donuts things like that, skip it. Go with the nuts and the water, and know people's favorites. Fresca has saved my freaking day before. And remember what goes in must go out, so you gotta have the bio breaks. Okay, um, post meeting. This is important too. Even if you have the most amazing meeting ever, it, won't, it doesn't matter if you don't do anything with what happened there. So you have to follow up with the people that are there, the people that aren't there but are impacted and things like that. Oh, if this happens, it's not too late you can still at least save your credibility. If your meeting explodes, just follow up, admit fault, get it over, do a redo, whatever. But just don't panic. Just keep going with it. Okay, so bonus, you're not the one that runs a meeting, how do you survive? So ask for that agenda in advance, they might not have made one. Um, ask leading questions that keep things kind of going um, and try to help the facilitator bring those people that go rah, 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 back into focus. So help that facilitator. So, um, recap, know your purpose, know your priority, know your people, and help that facilitator keep things moving. So, so um, I'm Sarah Welch, this is How to Run Meetings. If you want to chat about project management, RT in general, and I do want a job, um, <laughs> you can catch me on Twitter or send me an email, um, Sarah E. Welch at Gmail. So, I appreciate it. One last tip. If all else fails, bring cookies.